Time for some surgery. Let's get started. What's up guys, on the bench today is my firewall. So this is a PC that I put together a little while ago. It's a mixture of old and new hardware uh, in this uh, really nice little rack case. Uh, check out the description below. I've got a handful of videos that detail uh, the whole process of putting this together as well as the uh, unboxings for the case and some other things. Uh, also there'll probably be an annotation like over here somewhere that will show you uh, how to get to those videos as well. Now the reason why this is on the bench today uh, is I ran into a problem. So I'm currently running PFSense for my firewall. Uh, I periodically will log in just to check stuff out on the admin portal and I noticed that there was a um, upgrade available uh, so I just went ahead and forced the upgrade uh, instead of kind of doing what you're supposed to do which is kind of read the notes and kind of um, take some of the necessary steps to make sure that uh, the upgrade is appropriate for what you're doing uh, I just went ahead and blindly just did the upgrade it probably didn't help that it was also about 2 in the morning when I when I did it uh, what I noticed though is after the upgrade was applied I was getting a bunch of errors uh, in the uh, the portal itself and when I came downstairs to do a hard reboot I noticed that the um, uh, main hard drive was not being recognized and after doing a little bit of research and based on the error that I was seeing uh, it turned out that uh, that is a side effect of um, of the upgrade it could it's something that could happen I guess so basically um, really simply what's happening is the software um, is looking for a named drive and it's no longer named the same so it's it's just not um, it doesn't know where to boot from and even after telling it where to boot from uh, using the interface that you get presented with it still doesn't recognize so I originally thought that maybe it was a bad hard drive but as it turns out it's just um, sort of an issue with the software and uh, the the main thing that they ask you to do is the the best thing actually uh, and at least in my case is to just reload the software now reloading the software is not going to be uh, too bad I do have a version of the old um, the old software and I did uh, make a backup of my configuration file so I can load the software get this back in the rack and then just reload uh, my entire config based off my backup which is uh, really good because then I don't have to monkey around with resetting everything one thing you might notice if you're looking closely is that this hard drive over here doesn't have any cables plugged into it originally when I put this together uh, I had meant to put these drives uh, in a mirrored mode in a, in a RAID configuration uh, so that I you know had um, a mirrored backup if one of the drives failed but as it turns out uh, installing the software uh, just wasn't supported so even though the motherboard will let me configure the drives in that way when I tried to install PFSense it just wasn't working so I just unplugged it um, so that's staying there but that's okay because I have spare um, SATA because I need to plug in a uh, DVD drive so I can install the software so that's what I'm going to do next now installing software is actually kind of boring you just pop the CD drive in and just follow the prompts uh, it is going to wipe out all the contents of the drive but again I have a backup of my config file so that's okay um, that's going to take a little bit of time uh, so I'm just going to hook this all up do the install and then I'll come back to you when it's done I've got everything plugged in including uh, a DVD drive which I'm going to need to install the software and you can see that it does show up here in the BIOS uh, but uh, one thing I need to do before I continue is come over to the boot settings and make sure that the first drive that I attempt to go from is going to be the uh, DVD drive uh, and not that hard drive so with that set I can actually now save this and um, get going Well, the install actually went pretty quickly. Uh, the uh, PFSense installer is actually very easy to follow. Uh, and with just a couple of uh, questions answered during that process, I'm back up and running uh, version 2.1, which is where I was at before. All right, guys. So after doing the uh, uh, update down in the basement here, I've actually got the server back in the rack and up and running. And if you're paying close attention, you're noticing that uh, the current timestamp here is May 21st, which is about a month uh, since I uh, actually did that work down in the basement. Um, it's just no time lately. Um, anyways, uh, I get a lot of questions about what my uh, network setup is here at the house. Um, so obviously I'm running PFSense for my firewall. It also handles all of my DHCP 
uh, set up and uh, it is sitting in between the uh, internet that is coming in from Time Warner uh, and handles all of that traffic. Uh, I'm also using private internet access for my uh, VPN so all of the traffic that's coming out of my house is um, encrypted and protected uh, and run through the uh, the services that they provide. Um, there is a really neat and detailed uh, tutorial on how to set this whole thing up. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you can find that and uh, see how that's done. Uh, my, my layout here uh, is configurable uh, so again if you uh, care about how to do that you can um, go find some tutorials about how to do that. Uh, so here under my interfaces you can kind of see my uh, private internet access VPN and then uh, you know there's the uh, actual client setup which is over here and um, you know all of this info I'm picking up right from that tutorial like I said so that's a pretty neat write-up so um, overall that's kind of it I guess the um, uh, it's time to kind of wrap up the video so definitely like share subscribe that's gonna help me out a ton and uh, that's about it guys thanks for watching see you next time Thank <laughs> you.